In this video, we're going to be learning about chemical formulae. Okay, so we previously learned how every element has a symbol on the periodic table that represents it. Well, compounds, we know they're not found on the periodic table, so we don't have a chemical symbol. Instead, we have a chemical formula. And a chemical formula represents how many atoms a compound has in them and what those atoms are. So we're going to take a look at a couple of examples over here. Okay, so the first one that we're going to look at is this compound NaF. Okay, so this is the compound sodium fluoride. Okay, and this is what we call a chemical formula. This is typically what we would see. It's a chemical formula. It basically puts the symbols of the different elements that are in this compound, puts them together. And what we do need to know is in this case, uh, some, uh, this number, uh, what we see here, NAF, we don't see any numbers here. Now, some chemical formulas have numbers in them, and they're what we call subscript numbers. So a subscript number is a small little number, and it's written down low. So what do I mean here? Well, these, this chemical formula has two unwritten ones here. Now, why don't we write the ones? Well, most of the time, uh, these chemical formulas contain one of each thing. So to save us having to write loads of ones, if it's a one, we don't write the number. If it's any other number, you will see the number there. It'll be written subscript down low. So what does this actually mean? Well, this chemical formula here means that we have one sodium atom, so one Na atom, combined with one fluorine atom. Okay. So one sodium atom combined with one fluorine atom. What's, that's what that formula means. For every one sodium, there's one fluorine. Let's take a look at another example where it's not uh, unwritten ones. Let's say we have this Na2O. So this is a different formula. And here, we do have a written number. We have the number two. And what this means is two, means two of the element that came before it in the formula. So this is two sodiums. So there's one Na, and here is the second Na. So we've got two sodium atoms, two Na atoms, combined with, well, this is an unwritten one, we know that. So there's only one oxygen atom. So we've got one oxygen atom. You'll see what I'm doing by taking out these arrows to show the different atoms here. It's a good idea for you to use this technique at the start while you learn how to do this. And then once you get good at them, you can drop that. You'll just be able to know just by looking at, uh, at a formula what's in it. Let's try a more complicated one now. Let's try CH4. Okay. So here, there's an unwritten one here, which tells us that there is one carbon atom. And then there is a H4, which means there are one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms in this thing. So this is a, a, is a substance made of one carbon atom joined with four hydrogen atoms. Now, just so you can relate it to what it looks like in terms of a molecule here, we might draw this like something like this. One carbon atom shown as a black circle here, bonded with four of these white hydrogen atoms. That might be what we might see that looking like. Okay, I'm gonna get you to do one now. Uh, I'm gonna get you to do this one here, C-A-O. And then I'm gonna get you to do this one, C-A-B-R-2. So we to pause the video and do these two the same way I just showed you. I want you to know which atoms are in here and how many. So how many atoms and which type of atoms. So pause the video and do that now. Okay, so hopefully you have figured out how to do this. And we know then that this here, there's a, uh, this is a calcium and an oxygen. So we've got one calcium and one oxygen. Remember, there are unwritten ones here. So this is one by calcium and one by oxygen. One calcium and one oxygen atom. What about this over here? Well, here is another, this is calcium again. So here we've got one calcium atom and here we've got Br and a second Br. Okay, so we've got one calcium atom combined with every two bromine atoms. Two bromine atoms. All right, 
So hopefully you have the gist of that now. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over here and we're going to do some more practice now. Okay, so you guys are ready. We've done A and B here. We've done A and B. So I want you to pause the video and do C down to F for me. So pause the video and do each one of them. Okay, so you're only playing if you have uh, if you have done that. I'm going to very quickly speak the answers out. You can pause the video and check over them as I go. So this one in C has three magnesium atoms and two nitrogen atoms. So check that. D has six carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. E has one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. And C, uh, sorry, F has uh, seven carbon atoms, five hydrogen atoms, three nitrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. So these are very, this is a very big molecule. We're talking about a molecule with a lot of atoms in there. All together, that is seven plus five is 12, plus three is 15, plus six, 21 atoms make up this molecule here. So quite a lot uh, of atoms in there. It's quite a big, and it can get bigger and bigger than that. Okay, so it's big compared to these ones, but there are even bigger ones. All right, we're going to make this a little bit more complicated now, nothing too major. Uh, it's very simple, basic maths that's going to come on here. So uh, just read with me here. I'm just talking about here. It says, if symbols are in brackets, then you must multiply everything in the brackets by the little number that follows them. Okay, let's take a look at what I mean. The compound that we're going to use here as our example is this one here. Let's say we have this thing here, M, G, brackets, O, H, brackets, 2. What does this mean? Well, what this means is that I have one magnesium atom. And what I got to do with the two is I'm going to multiply two by everything inside the brackets. So that gives me two hydrogens and two oxygen atoms. So we've got two oxygen atoms and two hydrogen atoms. So these are just slightly more complicated formulas, but it just means that you have to multiply everything in the brackets by the number that comes after. All right, so we've got some more to practice here. Okay, so again, this is a mixture of ones with brackets and one without brackets. So I want you to pause the video and try and tell me which atoms, how many are present in each of these things. So pause the video, do that now. Okay, so again, very quickly, I'm going to call out the answers. Okay, so A has one calcium atom, two oxygen atoms, and two hydrogen atoms. Okay, so I'm hoping that you know how to do that. It's very similar to the one we just did. B, two lithium atoms, one sulfur atom, and four oxygens. So well done, if you got that right. The next one, C, two aluminium atoms, three sulfurs, and 12 oxygens. So this is something that might catch people. Three times four oxygens gives you 12, whereas three times one sulfur gives you three. So just being careful with that. If you didn't know how to do that one, if that caught you, then maybe this one caught you as well. And maybe this one caught you. So maybe pause the video and have a go at them before I get there. All right, next one in D, we have one calcium, one carbon, three oxygens. So take it, fix it, and have a look at what I've said and see, can you figure out what, what you've done wrong? Next one, E, magnesium, one magnesium, two nitrogens, six oxygens. Again, pause the video. If you haven't got it right, you need to have a look and see why am I saying that? Okay, try and figure out what you're thinking wrong. Next one, one gallium atom, two nitrogens and six oxygens. Okay, so that's that guys. That's how we uh, use formulas and how we work out how many atoms are in there and what type of atoms. Uh, so that's it guys, I'll see you in the next video.